What's going on guys? After a three week hiatus, I'm back, I'm well, and I'm alive. And I hope that's the case for you guys as well. And if you're new to the channel, hey, my name is Dixon and welcome to the channel where we talk about men's fashion and grooming tips and learning how to dress your best life. By the way, 86% of you viewers are not subscribed to the channel, so do me a favor, hit the subscribe button now. It's free and it only takes a second. That's going to help the channel grow so I can continue to create more content for you stylish people. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about 14 essential items that every stylish professional or business owner should own. Let's go. Number one on the list, a well-tailored suit. A suit is an absolute necessity if you're a professional or a business owner. Even before you land any job, you're going to need a suit. Not only does a well-tailored suit make you look dapper and give you more confidence, it also gives people more confidence in you. So if you don't own a suit, I strongly recommend you get at least one. And if you're not too sure which color to go for, I would recommend a single-breasted navy or charcoal for its versatility. The suit I'm wearing today is a navy double-breasted suit from K-Man Tailors. I'm not too sure if you can see it through the camera, but this suit is actually a pinstripe, which I absolutely love. I'll leave more information in the description below, as well as a special code for you gents in Malaysia. Number two on the list, a well-tailored dresser. Yes, everything needs to be tailored. And what is a suit without a dresser? A classic duo. And the best thing is you can just wear the dresser alone if you decide not to wear the suit. If you're a professional or a business owner, you should own at least five dress shirts so you're covered throughout the week. To be on the safe side, stick with your whites and blues. Sounds boring, I know. But there's so many different types of dress shirts with different collar styles as well as cuff styles. There are various types of cuff styles such as the barrel cuff and the French cuff. Which leads me to item number three, a pair of cufflinks. Cufflinks are basically jewelry for men to help fasten the cuff together for French cuff shirts. Personally, cufflinks are a great way where us guys can truly express our personality. But that doesn't mean you should go for crazy designs. I would strongly suggest going for more minimal styles and don't forget to match your medals. Item number four, a tie. And yes, I'm aware that most workplaces are getting more and more casual throughout the years. However, I personally think that there's always a place and time to wear a tie. It could be for an interview, weddings, or especially if you're giving a presentation or pitching an idea to investors. So get a tie because you'll be taken more seriously and a tie will always be a mark for professionalism. The fifth item on the list, a white pocket square. Personally, I think a suit is incomplete without a pocket square. It is the small details that really helps the outfit to stand out and the pocket square does just that. And when it comes to business, a white pocket square in the presidential fold is always the way to go. Item number six, you probably guessed it, a pair of leather dress shoes. Ever heard of the phrase, you can tell a lot about a person by their shoes? I absolutely agree here. When it comes to business and especially corporate, you're not going to get away with slippers and sneakers. So get yourself a pair of Darbys, Oxfords, or even Double Monks. Just be sure that they're well maintained and polished on a regular. The seventh item on the list, the right dress song. Keyword, right. If you're wearing dress shoes, it's only logical and appropriate to be wearing dress socks. So don't even think about wearing any athletic socks. Ideally, your dress socks should match your outfit, made out of cotton or wool in colder seasons, and it should be over a calf. Over the calf socks are a life changer because it prevents the sock to roll down throughout the day. And trust me, it's really annoying to readjust them. Next up on the list, the right underwear. You might be thinking, why does wearing any underwear makes any difference? Hear me out. There are so many different types of underwear like the brief, trunks, thongs, boxers, and the list goes on. Essentially, what you want to avoid when it comes to formal or business occasions are boxers or any type of underwear with loose fabric. And the reason for this is because those are not skin tight and if you decide to pair those with your suit pant, you're going to see the unwanted visible panty line from the unwanted fabric. Not only is it embarrassing, but it is incredibly uncomfortable. Trust me, I know. Next up on the list, a versatile watch. Watches are a professional way to enhance anyone's appearance. I personally wear watches for its aesthetics, as well as the amount of craftsmanship that's put into making certain watches. That's a whole different topic. For me, the watch is a perfect jewelry or accessory you can say that every man can wear without looking immaculate. Plus, wearing a watch is a great conversation starter. Just be sure to get one that's versatile so you can wear it for a business occasion as well as a more relaxed occasion. Item number 10, a leather briefcase. As a professional and a business owner, you're going to need something to store and transport your documents, your laptops, as well as your business essentials without it getting damaged and a leather briefcase will stylishly do just that. And guys, 
Get rid of that backpack you have from your uni days and invest in a high quality leather briefcase because that's just gonna last for a long time and it's gonna make you look mature and professional. Trust me, don't make the same mistakes I did. I decided to buy a leather briefcase from Lazada for 50 bucks, which is around $15 in the US and guess what? The zipper broke within the month. So invest in quality when it comes to leather goods because that's going to save you more money in the long run. The briefcase you see here is from Maverick & Co which looks absolutely stunning and it's pretty decent in price considering it's made out of real Safiano leather. And I think they're currently having a sale so I'll leave a link in the description below in case you're interested. Next up, a nice journal. Yes, we have our laptops and our phones to do the job but having a physical journal really helps with organizing our thoughts be it our personal thoughts or for work. Plus, having a physical journal will leave a legacy and it's always great to look back at your achievements to remind you of all the hard work you've poured into your work or your career. Plus, taking out your journal during a business meeting to jot down any notes will have a far greater impact compared to doing it on a laptop. The 12th item on the list, a high quality pen. Gents, there's definitely going to be a time where you need to take notes during a seminar or signing a contract or a check and heck, you're definitely going to need a pen every time you travel. No, I'm not saying you can't use a cheap pen to do any of these, but having a high quality pen like this to sign off on a business deal is going to give you a whole new experience. And pulling out a high quality pen like this during a business meeting is no doubt going to set a good impression for you because it shows that you're serious about your work. Next on the list, a slim leather wallet or a money clip. Who doesn't own a wallet nowadays? Every professional needs to own at least one. A slim leather wallet or a money clip because it's incredibly classy and it's never going out of style. Avoid buying wallets that are made out of PU leather or nylon because it's not going to last you for a long time and you'll end up disposing it in a few months. And worst of all, imagine pulling out your nylon wallet with Velcro straps when you're paying for your date's meal. Not a good impression. And last but not the least, business cards. Be it for your business or your career, you're going to need business cards. Yes, you can exchange your contacts on your phone, but doing so is very impersonal. And if you think about it, your business card is actually your first impression to your brand. So always have a business card ready because you're never going to know when an opportunity comes. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to smash that like button as well as subscribing to the channel. And like I said, I'll be leaving links in the description below for some of the items you might see in today's video. And I hope each and every one of you are staying safe. I know things aren't the greatest here in Malaysia, but I just want to remind you that we're all in this together. So keep your head up and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, stay dapper.